morning. How are we doing? Oh, was in that the last video there where uh, I was separating the, the metal from the plastic on the cartridge cases? These are 12 bore, by the way. Um, just in case you were wondering, I suppose you could do it with other, you know, four tens and various other bores, um, but. Gold bore the, the casings I was working with, but when I was juking around with it, doing that, I said to myself, I wonder if I could make a, a whistle out of uh, these cases. So away I went, and I said, oh, I'll bash at this and see. Because I make wooden whistles, and I've been speaking about the bird calls and that type of thing, and uh, I said, I'm going to have a little shot of this and see if it's, how it goes. It's on the, on the way. I'm travelling to this point, or travelling to a point. You need to excuse me, I'm, I'm needing nicotine and caffeine, right? This morning, right? Please, the doctor, no end, like, you know, right? No, I've seen him for a little while, but he keeps lecturing me about various things, you know, the AGR, we need a plan, a plan, yeah, we, we do need a plan, I don't know what the plan is, but, well, I think he's, he's really cold. I want to keep you living, I suppose, going on and on, but, uh, what's life if you can't enjoy the odd smoke and a coffee and things like that, you know, it's a lot worse out there, now that I've given up alcohol, um, what else? I mean, I don't smoke a lot, but I enjoy a smoke now and again. Um, I don't take any tablets. So, you know, that's it. In the world we live in nowadays, I don't think there's many of us not taking tablets of some kind or other. So I was quite fortunate. Concerned about my blood pressure. <coughs> The age I got, and just, uh, his blood pressure's just getting slightly high, he says. I thought the age I was, just getting slightly high was a pretty good thing, but I've done well. Anyway, go back to the, the whistles. Uh, so, I did, I made up some, some whistles, and they, they work really well, actually. The, the, you know, I'll let you hear them. On the way a bird call, I don't know, but we'll see. <coughs> yeah, so, we've got the acoustics right, the acoustics work. Certainly, that's all it is. Draw your attention anyway. So, uh, what I'll do is I'll deconstruct one. Actually, I went and put a tether on one of them, because obviously, Sling it around your neck, it's not a tether. But when I done the tether, and I, this one I did slightly different, because uh, I bored out the end instead of using one of the plastic uh, cake carriages, uh, where you get the full thing with that actually, what they, for the blowing in the end, it actually worked really well. Just trying to get a draw of that. <laughs> <laughs> smoke would come out of it. But I put a tether on it, hanging around your neck and that kind of thing. But this one was the first one I did and I, I glued it together. It's a sound, but it's certainly not sharp, but I think it's to do with the fact that, you know, the actual chamber, the, the resonates the sound and pushes out the other end of the cartridges now. Anyway, so we need to look at a, a different way of doing the tether. But we'll, I'll deconstruct one of them for you and uh, I'll show you the difference. There's not much in it at all actually. Uh, as I say, you've got that end piece there, which is that end. The other end was this, the one on the video which the percussion cap which we bored out. Uh, and we're left the casing on. Uh, and inside, 
is a, a plug shaped, of course. And I bought that. For that one I did, I did it out of beach. And uh, it's a good uh, towel drills uh, things in, but end on the beach. Oh, I just don't really like it. Like, you know, it's. Uh, there's a bit, a bit of smoke coming off things, but we got it anyway. But I decided to go to Western Red Cedar just as a trial thing now. And as you can see from, if I show you, it's, it's shaped. Um, you know, you run a shape on it. You should do it on a lanish or do a file. It starts away as that and ends up shaped to direct the sound. Uh, and, so, and I also made up a small jig for to cut the mouth of the cartridge. The clear casings work really well because you can see actually when you push this in you can see where you need to cut. The coloured casings are a bit more difficult uh, getting them where you want. Uh, you've just got to feel around for it. I think some colours lend themselves to showing but as I say, you just I just pushed it in. I might better not push it in now because I've already got a whole shape as such. So but anyway, that goes in against it. it goes pushed into it, and it gives you the exact shape of. Spend a little bit of time on that part because that gives you the shape for the cut the mouth. And it'll make the sound. Here, pushed in the largest opening of the plug to the front, pushing the air narrowing as it gets up, pushing the air up towards that cut edge, which is the one which is the edge that gives you the that cut edge gives you the sound. So, uh, but if you spend a little bit of time on that. Uh, because you've got to be careful when you're cutting a cartridge because you cut these craft knives and uh, if you got make this to go inside it gives you a hard edge to cut against and saves you the knife slipping going too far you don't want to go too far down the cartridge because you want to be above the halfway mark at least um, to keep the strength on it but I'll put it back together now and uh, I've not, as I say, I've not glued in yet, so I've just basically just line it up, push it in. You want it to project that little bit past, so as it, you can see it's it's taking the air right to the point. And just try it. We'll put it just a little bit forward. You can shook around with that back and forward as you as you as you see fit. And uh, as I say, that case on. A little bit of patience with this is required at times just to get it to, to fit properly. There you go. That can be the hardest bit of it actually getting that case over the plastic again. <laughs> but the, the, what, I, what I did is actually I took one of the casings and I used a, a longer plug put it into it and put the heat on it pushed it in a bit further and put the heat on it and put a little bit of heat and it allows you to open up the casing just a little bit you don't want to go too far with it but if you swing it round about and it takes that kinkle off the end where the cat is and the plastic's folded round the end to keep the shot in the plug it goes on so it actually sorts that out a little bit and makes a difference to it. Um, so you can check around if you're, if you're so fancy making that. I'm going to, as I say, I was watching a video this morning and this chap was extremely good and he makes duck calls and various things. And of course, I understand the principle behind the duck calls and all that, and but it's, it's the little bits of the video that you really want to see 
we got all that work on the lathes and the boring and the this and that and the polishing and all these things and it's fine. It's great. Good to watch. Nothing better than watching somebody who's really good at what they do. Now when it comes to the bit of information that you could be doing with, the bit that makes it work um, and you can alter, you can, the, the, the pass by that bit of information, you won't get that. Obviously they're, they're in business, they're making, I suppose if you were going to buy one and deconstruct it, you would be able to see how it was all done. But uh, there's no fun in doing that. Uh, and you won't, unless you get the right materials and the right things, you won't be able to. But I've, I, I gleaned a little bit of information from it, from watching the video, that was quite useful. Um, and so I'm still going to keep with the cases and see what I can do it because there's millions of these things around, like, you know, they're busy recycling them nowadays, of course. But these clubs and all that have mountains of uh, carriage cases. I was scared it would be worthwhile getting them for the little bit of the copper percussion cap that's in the end, but uh, <laughs> you, need, <laughs> you need a lot. <laughs> Coppers, well, you get a price on it, but I mean, I don't. I mean, a few billion probably get uh, something worthwhile out of it, like, you know. But I thought I'd let you see that anyway. Um, uh, I won't run through the actual making of it all because. It's not difficult, difficult, uh, something you can play around with and there's very little material in it. I mean you can make these plugs up out of whatever you wish. Uh, oops, timer. You can make them up out of whatever you wish. I just made them out of that because it was easier on the machine at this moment to, to well, I'll need to take it out and sharpen it. Uh, as I said, that end grain on the beach. <laughs> not happy about it. Like, you know. <laughs> But then, of course, I haven't really got the drill press that I used to have. I used to have a big floor standing one and all the rest of it, but... Oh, can you say it downsize? <coughs> but, effective whistle, definitely. Um, as I say, I will look at the tether situation on it and see how that works and, uh, and continue onwards and upwards and all that kind of thing. All right? But, uh, so I hope that, as I say, that's no money in it. Bits of wood, bit of time, and uh, give yourself a good, the grandchildren will love them. There you go. Anyway, I'll catch you later. Cheers.